word. Hello and welcome to the B-Side Word. My name is Maxi. I'm sat here with Devon, Emma, CJ, and that is it for today. But we are a group of friends from around the world and every single week we look for some interesting articles and then we sit here and discuss them for your entertainment. Well, this is actually Dev's article. Yes. So We've got some Yeezy, 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 Kane. but not Yeezy fashion, but social houses. Yeezy home. Yeezy homes. Yes. Yeezy homes. Oh, Ooh, I Yeezy like homes. this. Yeezy home. Yeezy, Yeezy homes. homes. So they're not very attractive. Not easy home. <laughs> they're different. <laughs> they're different. Go, Dev. Do you know anything about it? No. Right. No. Okay. So. But it's your article. <laughs> Every week. It's your, uh, don't you research your own articles? <laughs> the titles. <laughs> okay. So Kanye West um, has been wanting to do an architecture arm of his Yeezy brand for a while. And I think on TMZ, they've just released... Um, some images of his first social, like affordable housing, which he's calling Yeezy Home. Or that's the Yeezy Home is going to be the name of the architecture arm. Okay. Yes. So it's to bridge the gap between social and income classes. Yeah. Um, he wanted to create affordable homes that low income families, I guess families, people are able to. Families are Hi. people are family. Yep. Individuals, families, yep. couples. I like this idea. Yes. So the people. We will Affordable put. Affordable housing. We'll, Dev, can you put a picture of the houses on the I will. thing? But look at these houses, I, guys. This, this it, it looks like a breast implant. It, <laughs> hey, CJ, what what movie does that remind you of? What movie? The Truman Show. Truman, Truman Show? Show? No, yeah. Truman had normal houses. I'm talking about futuristic um, Oh, movie. no, no. I meant, I meant the dome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. But the houses. Remember that there's a movie. Star Wars? Yeah. You're right on. So these houses that we're looking at, so they're 50 foot. Like the How big is 50 feet? The silicone breast implant things? 50 feet. 50 feet. Prefabricated dome-like structures, That's big boobs. Um, based basically <laughs> off the Star Wars sort of vibe. I think he was inspired by um, honka, honka. Luke's <laughs> Luke what Skywalker's um, dome. I don't type know if he was houses. inspired or copied. But it actually looks pretty cool. There's also another picture of the like what he wants the inside to be like. I think these are on his either his tweets as well or his Instagram page. You might be able to have a look. This but is the most stylish um, low income class low, ever. Low income, yeah, each building is about fifty feet high. It yeah, fifty foot. That's crazy. Prefab dome like structures. Do you know this one part floor could be ten feet? That's fine, right? That could be like a five floor. Hang on, how how big is the standard? Ten. Uh, two point five. Two. No, yeah, two point four. 2.4 is the um, meters. Yeah. Meters. From the Which floor is, that's to less ceiling. less than 10 feet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because that's feet. Okay. Do you know what this reminds me of? Remember the old Asian star movies? Yeah. That the little, Japanese. Yeah, the Japanese. The, Japanese that oh. yeah, the courtyard. And the end of that fight scene. Yeah. That's where the fight scene is. That's Kill Bill. Yeah. That's where it is. That's where they have the fight scene. Maxi hasn't seen that one because I got that one from a different article. Uh, to be fair, what the, the pictures in... In that we're seeing now aren't like the finished product, right? This is like them under construction. Yeah. So it will look different, but it will still be a dome. Yeah. I okay. don't know what the hole in the top is. It looks like, like people. just for the people that haven't seen the picture yet, it looks like <laughs> a dome. A dome. And then they've sort of, do you know when you have boiled egg and soldiers? Did you have yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, do you guys have it? Yeah. Yeah. Is, you call it the same thing? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I've never so seen it. So it's like boiled egg and soldiers. They've just knocked the top off. Can't tell if the yolk's good enough, but <laughs> seems right. <laughs> I'm just hoping this doesn't end up like fire. What do you mean? The jet, oh, the it kind of looks like that, but way, way better. Um, but I don't know. Apparently, he's been studying like all these man-made types of dwellings throughout history, and he wanted an otherworldly feel. Maxi, would you want to be sort of like Kanye, being able just to like? Like if you think about something and then just executing it. Yes, a hundred percent. Because he has, he said, "I want to be in fashion." Made a label. I want to fashion. Yeah. I want a, a, a architectural um, arm in my business. I made one. Well, that's that's a natural next step, isn't it? From Yeezy shoes to Yeezy homes. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty big step. <laughs> 
I wonder. I wonder. Like, do you have to wear the shoes to use the home? Have you seen um, the I design, spend... Maxi? Do you like the design of the the house, the Yeezy house? I've only seen. I've can only see the dome as it under construction. Like, you can still see the beams and the where yeah. the insulation is gonna go. I but, mean, um, I wouldn't choose a round house personally. Like, I think it's then everything has to be custom made, right? Yeah. <laughs> if like if the edges are round, it's yeah. hard just to go to IKEA and buy a square table. So these people that are buying affordable housing, have they're gonna to have to have like maybe. Maybe mm-hmm. thought about it more than I think. Obviously, I'm very like I'm just looking at it from the outside. But if it's round, you, I think you just walk into problems. So I wouldn't have built a round house. It's gonna be a lot of bean bags. Yes. Yeah, no, but you know It'll your bed. The inside could still be not round though. Then you're cutting a lot Ooh, of it yeah, out. There we go. Yeah, then you're cutting basically That's... a lot of the real estate out. Or he, it's so spacious because it's ten feet high. I don't know how wide it is that they don't need to push the furniture to the edge. Like they've got all this space, they can have like you know. But then again, it's like just in terms of building, like. Quality, like if we're talking about this is affordable housing so to get the most out of a building in terms of cost for material and everything and the time it takes to build why would you waste so space. much space but that being like yeah i don't know like it could it could be a better solution like, than i know like it could be like all of the like um what do you call it like the electric the plumbing and everything else goes round in those areas but then if it's 50 feet high and you're building floors every single floor is going to lose space because of the curvature. Yeah. But um, is it, is it's also interesting that he's building this in Calabasas. What's Calabasas? Where's Calabasas? That's like where all the celebs live in, oh, in California. Oh, yeah. He's making affordable housing for celebrities. No, but it's like really <laughs> close. It's yeah. not that far from him and okay. Kim's house. They've v- v- been doing it really tough recently. All right. Uh. They had the wildfires. <laughs> Yeah, and then oh, it say, well, when it says affordable housing, does, does it give any um, like costs that it's going to cost for somebody? Mm, to buy 13, Thirty million dollars each. <laughs> It'll be affordable. Million. I didn't see any <laughs> cost. Like it looks like a little um, set, like Star Wars set. It really does. It's yeah. pretty cool. You'd you'd kind of cool. want to be like get picked. Actually, actually, you're right, Maxi. What happens at the top there? What's happening at the top? Is that just and maybe open? it's like going to be a big skylight? That's where the window. No, because going. that's where the courtyard. Maybe that looks down oh, into that skylight. courtyard thing. Oh, it's a, oh man, I would. I want to see more pictures of this before I dismiss it. Yeah, I, but I love. I love. Like I love the idea. I'm not a fan of everything Kanye does, but I love the idea that somebody that has a lot of money and is like, you know what? Why not just do something good? Yeah, a hundred percent. Hats off to him. You know. Okay. Yeah. If he's building yeah. it like in a rich area. Hmm. How is he doing something good? Maybe he's just doing it well, in a rich because area. He's because he's got the land. He's he's got the three hundred acre lot. Yeah, oh, it's his land that yeah, he but bought. Also, but, but also, when you sell it, it would have a high value. Yeah, but what what's a good thing about putting it in a rich? Like that's a hard thing. Like, can you can you keep the prices down? Because like it's, like it's just supply and demand, right? A lot of people want to live in that area, so the prices might get pushed yeah. up. But the flip side of that is. It's it's kind of annoying when you haven't got much money that you can't live in certain areas. Mm. So if he yeah. says, you know what, I have this land, I'm gonna have it make it very affordable. I mm-hmm. only want to make a ten percent profit margin, or maybe not even anything, because I've got enough money. Mm-hmm. Come and live here, and it will keep it at normal price. Yeah, but what's says, to stop someone like me purchasing it at, mm. at, a, at a low price and then selling, and then it, yeah, selling yeah, it at a true. high price? That's I don't true. know what that what's gonna that's happen, true. but he this is what oh, he. Oh, CJ had but a you can you can make it just as a lease, or you never really own it. Yeah, buddy. He basically wants yeah, to. Buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> CJ's got his um, entrepreneur on. Um, he wants to break the barriers that separate classes, namely the rich, the middle class, and the poor. That's what he put on here. Sydney. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, guys. All right. Do you know how to ripen an avocado? No. Do you? No. I do. Okay, <laughs> what fruit like helps you ripen other fruits? In my defense, I'm not a big fan of avocado, so I don't really. <laughs> I'm not either. That's controversial. I'm not. Why? Uh, other than Vietnamese avocado shake. Now, give me that any day of the week. Okay, that just sounds disgusting. No, no it's just like it's it, like sweet. It's it, with condensed like condensed milk and it's, like it's pretty nice. It's, it's pretty nice. beautiful. Anyways. So to ripen an avocado, you put it in a bag, like a paper bag, with a banana inside, fold it to close it and put it somewhere warm and it will ripen within one to three days. Okay. If you put an avocado <laughs> well, well, one somewhere... One to three days. 
I feel like that's I think the I could general put anything type. in a bag with an avocado and it will ripen within one <laughs> to three days. I got the strange that's feeling. What I was thinking. If you put an avocado somewhere warm around the bag, it could ripen <laughs> ripen in three days as well. I don't know I, why. I thought but the same the, thing too. I got this feeling in my head that could happen. <laughs> if you don't have the banana, put it in a bag of uncooked rice and do the same. How about just put it in a warm area and see what happens? <laughs> but if you want to slow down the ripening process, shove it in the fridge. Yeah, I assume yeah, that, that was the sense. answer for that one too. Okay, now I'm we all know. I think it's the temperature that makes a difference. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's the banana. I have bananas in my oh fridge, no, 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 no! Because that doesn't. What happens then? Okay, scientifically speaking, guys, I'll bring out Emma Science. When <laughs> the ban- some some fruits like the banana, it releases a gas gas called something, oh. e- ethylium or something like that, and it's that gas that helps ripen fruits. Bitcoin. Because I I always put my um <laughs> like if I want my pears, you know how you buy pears. To like, yeah. and they're like really, really like harder than an apple. Yeah, you put your banana with the pears, and it like ripens them up as well. Oh. But the, the bananas are the do key. You have, I I always do this thing where I leave my banana in my bag with my lunch. Oh and god, then everything in my lunch tastes of banana. Yes, really annoying. Really? Yes, yes. So I've got a locker at work, and in my locker at work, I keep like dried like food, so I can just top like cereals and like His banana, like breakfast bars and stuff. Yeah, and I put my bananas in there once. And everything from then onwards tasted like banana. So yes. I had this horrible. That's really strange. Of... It must be that gas that it releases. There you ethereum. go. Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin. 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 Was... <laughs> Is that Ethereum or Ethereum? I can't remember. <laughs> Ethereum's the big uh, cryptocurrency, isn't it? But there you go, guys. If you want nice ripe avocados. This article is about a Southwest Airlines flight attendant um, who was basically spotted like lying in the overhead cabbage cabbage compartment <laughs> baggage baggage <laughs> Not compartment cabbage. no compartment they don't have farms there no they don't <laughs> no cabbage farms overhead cabbage <laughs> overhead baggage compartment yeah when people were boarding the plane. Was she trying to scare someone? I thought she was trying to stow away, like, like <laughs> hide and then like if just she, like go to a new new if, country if and get she off. Works as a flight <laughs> attendant. How does she have to store? Explain her it to me. I don't know. She's on drugs. Why, she, why would she be in the overhead? She had a big night. Yeah. Just Southwest a few employees are known for demonstrating their sense of humor and unique personalities. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this this is okay. If you that saw would scare that, the shit out of me if I opened up the thing and went, oh crap! But the <laughs> There's thing a woman is, in it. <laughs> you wouldn't look at it and go, oh ha ha ha. You'd look at it and go, what the? Like, what are you doing? Like, it's just so bizarre. Would so you strange. would you stop and ask, or would you just walk past? I'd be like, are you alright? I don't know. Do you ask the lady that's <laughs> lying down? I walk past. Hey, eh? like, yeah. she was like yeah. talking to everyone from up above as well. Uh, I, I'm I, I'm single Hello, right now. I'll, I'll ask what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> if the cabbage compartment is rocking, don't bother knocking. Oh my god! <laughs> the cabbage compartment. <laughs> Why does everyone call it the cabbage compartment today? <laughs> I did that on purpose. Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought you got mixed up like me. No. Is there is there any more of these Southwest uh, flight attendant pranks? Uh, is this a prank? Like, do you, okay, first of all, because because uh, Maxie said they're known for their humor. That's the statement that they put out. I think because oh. they were probably like, "What the hell is she, she doing?" She was pissed. It says in this instance, one of our flight attendants attempted to have a brief moment of fun with customers during boarding. I like the word "attempted" in that uh, sentence. <laughs> and then it says, "Of course, <laughs> this is not our normal procedure, and Southwest crews." Always maintain safety as a top priority. <laughs> really? Apart from in this case. <laughs> Where's Southwest? Always, apart from sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just thinking, if no one opened it up, she'd be stuck in there, right? The plane, how's, the how's plane gonna, takes off and she's in there for the whole flight. Bag? They're going to put the bags in there. What was if the person Imagine no one checked no and they just opened it and it's just like, without <laughs> <laughs> First off, who puts their bags in like that? Opens it up and goes, whoa, overhead throw. You know you know who? Someone who hates their luggage. <laughs> I hate you, bag. I hate you. Ah! 
<laughs> you know, you know what this reminds me of? There's this person they they videoed this person trying to put their bag in the overhead compartment, right? Yeah. And the guy's like, Too the small. guy complains and calls the flight attendant over, and yeah. he's trying to jam it in, and he's like, he's only trying one way, and the flight attendant comes over and goes, "Sir, if you turn it, it'll fit." <laughs> He turns the bag and it slides straight. Oh in. no! And the girl, the girl that was filming it, it was just laughing at him the whole time because he was there for like honestly two minutes. What? <laughs> now do you know what I'm good? You'll be surprised how bad people's spatial awareness is <laughs> until you get onto a flight. Or once you're on a flight, you'll understand. Like this is unbelievable. Oh, man. H- have you um, all the time? All the time, I see people like this. Maxi, do you like just do you put your you, um, you laptop see people in the cabbage compartment? No, <laughs> Maxi, do you put your laptop in the um in the overhead compartment? No, the lap- sometimes lap- the lap- 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 laptop. Because like, so if it's in my bag, maybe. Because there's these people like when you said spatial awareness, these people it's not gonna fit. The bag's not gonna fit right. But you mm. know, there's something like valuable in that bag, oh, and, and they're, they're just, just jamming, jamming it. And you're just looking at them going, yeah. Ooh. But I mentioned if I I've, if I see someone doing that to my bag, I'll say something pretty quick. Oh, what would you say? What or would you I'd say? Offer t- so often I'm like, let me help. Like, or I'd say my <laughs> laptop's in there, let me help. And then they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if my laptop's broken, yeah. I'll break your face. <laughs> oh, man. And the good thing is like, this is, I don't know, this this is maybe, I don't know if it's arrogant or what. This, this probably isn't a good trait, but I quite enjoy standing up and then <laughs> showing a guy how to put a bag in, his, <laughs> in the overhead baggage and looking around like, yep. I did it. Thank <laughs> that's, me. Uh, that's how a real man does it. Pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you get up to do it and then you stuff it up? <laughs> and I'm like, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Even if the next person comes, I'm like, no, 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 no. Go And back. then the flight attendant we comes and go goes, back. turn the bag. It doesn't fit. <laughs> turn the bag. <laughs> turn the bag. <laughs> The flight attendant's like, no, it does fit. It's fine. No, 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 no. You have to fit out the back now. We need a, we need a new plane. Here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a young lady in here for some reason. <laughs> Is there anything else My that... My bag that... doesn't fit. There's a young lady in here. <laughs> oh, God. Is there anything else where you'd have like that man pride where you're like, no, I've tried and it, it's definitely not going to work? Everything. <laughs> everything. Like, yeah, everything. Like what? Everything. Like, everything. do you actually get that if a girl would open the jar that you couldn't open with that? Like oh, never, yeah, never yeah. Annoy me, you. Yeah. It's never happened to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put it this way. Before I give it back to her, mate, I'm breaking it. <laughs> uh, maybe you can ask a lesser man that question. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Mate, she'd be gonna get like half the jar smashed. Like, yeah, uh, open the boy love. <laughs> I'd be bleeding everywhere. <laughs> but I got Just it. Just scrape from the bottom. <laughs> I, might, I must have loosened it. That's oh a go-to one. Oh, I must have loosened oh, it for yeah. you. I must have loosened yeah, yeah. it. I did all the grunt work. I've actually oh, had that when I was... I must have been about oh, 12 or something. You, have you had my it? my grandma opened a jar I couldn't open. And that, oh. that got to me. I internalised that a lot. Really? <laughs> yeah. And you started going yeah. to the gym or something? And the, the person's open, like, oh, yeah, what's, the weekends, what's I'll brought just open you in? I jars, like, <laughs> tying as hard as I can and trying to open it, one. It, it's good to see you're over it. It's good to see you've moved on. But that's a really good point, actually. I try to notice when i'm doing things just because i'm trying to be like manly and oh. i try and put curb it a little bit like, like what we're in like the what? office the other day and uh three of the guys like there's a group we're in the relation and market team relations and marketing team in the human aspect and like there's about eight girls and four guys yeah and the three guys were like hey do you want to try chili uh, they, they said <laughs> do you like chili i was like yeah he goes do you want to try some i was like on its own he's like yeah i was like no <laughs> he's like why? Why? I was like, he was like, why? Why? I was like, because I don't enjoy eating chili on his own. Like, but then the three guys did it, and then well, they were just like trying to like, yeah, I can have more of that. Like, it's oh fine. man! And the girl, one of the like, one of uh, the girls were like, why are you um, why are you eating the chili? And I was like, because we're like, I was like, because we're men. Like, why else would we eat chili? <laughs> but there's no reason for me to stick some random chili in my mouth. No. And the girl's not going to be like eating the chili Ooh. to prove I can eat more chili. <laughs> Like, what am I? You know, he, he's gonna be hot tonight. <laughs> but it's so funny because the bomb as if, like a yeah, girl when he poops, be like, oh my <laughs> god, bur- oh. burns on the way in and it burns on the way out. It's horrible. He'll be yelling out, Jesus. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh god, you men. That's funny. I've gone past that. I've gone past that. There is yeah. no. There's. I've accepted. There's some things that I'm just like, yep. Yep, you can do that better than me, but I can do this better than you. I just wish you could cook a Barbie. 
Who? You. Dude, I'll, I'll make a cook barbecues. Nah, he can't. He wouldn't know how to turn it on. Nah. Talk I got good. a question for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's more manly, setting up a barbecue or cooking on the barbecue? Ooh. Oh, good question. A bit of both. You've got to have both I because you don't want, because then... Are you I mean, talking about, what kind of barbecues are you talking about? Are you talking about charcoal or gas? Gas burners. I, I built a gas burner. Built, I didn't build a gas burner. I assembled a gas burner <laughs> barbecue a couple of days ago for Melody's family. And I was like, I, f- I feel this is more manly than actually cooking on the barbecue. But I thought cooking on the barbecue was like the king of like peak. I think both. Manliness. I think both. Because you don't want to have the girl have to set it up because you don't know what how to set up the barbecue. I think if if my if Melody set up the barbecue, then I start cooking on it. I'd feel less. I shouldn't, but I'd feel less manly if I did it the other way around. I'll set up. There you go. You can now use it. This is how you use it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you have to turn this knob. <laughs> and who mari- did, like who who pre marinated the meats? You or her? Just like, a tip. <laughs> just a tip. Is that you? <laughs> Okay, what are our final thoughts on the... Um, what were we talking about? Our flight the, lady. The flight attendant in the, the cabbage area. Well, <laughs> it was a bit... Str- I think it, I don't... It wasn't the greatest prank. Uh, it was a bit strange. Do you think she's maybe bullied? Like picked up and actually thrown in there? <laughs> no, what? Not like a locker. <laughs> yeah. You reckon she got stuffed no, into no, the no, overhead no. compartment? Actually, no. You guys just reminded me. That happens. We've talked about this before. No, we haven't. Yeah, oh. we have. Maybe, or I have. I don't know. I don't know. One of the airlines, one of the Chinese airlines puts on their like new flight attendant stuff. They force them to get into the overheads as like a, like, what's a it hazing? called? Initiation. Yep. Type thing. Yeah, a hazing thing. And they were trying to take it to court and be like, you can't do that. So, yeah. What? You're not too far We off. spoke about this. We uh, did. I, I think, think we did. I've never ages too far off. ago. Maybe it didn't get huh. through never to. never too far off. Online. Genius. I don't think that idea would take off. <laughs> let's let's leave it on that. I let's like to I like to I like to see you try to get me in there. Let's leave it on that. I want to know what people think about that joke. <laughs> this week on Max Facts. Uh, humans are one of the few mammals to not have what bone? Humans. Tails. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me repeat that. Humans are one of the few mammals to not have what bone? No, we do have tail bones. Oh. Because I injured mine. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> I take it back. Um, okay. Um. We don't have a bone. Wing bone. No. Wing? No, it's the We're bone. We're not Lucifer. On the feet that helps you grip like a thumb on your feet. If he gets this right, I swear. I swear. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Surely not. <laughs> Surely not. Go, Take Max. Any more? No. no. Humans are one of the few mammals to not have a penis bone. Oh. oh. What was that again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got one. A few girls that day that I've seen it <laughs> and felt it. <laughs> oh gosh That's what they said <laughs> CJ We got to scrap this whole article now <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's uneditable you Killed everything CJ <laughs> You know that Your last Your mother bit... will be watching this I know I'm pretty sure she'll be happy to knock on a penis <laughs> <laughs> It's like That last bit is just going to be like Beep Lady <laughs> Beep They've seen it Beep <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What do you mean we ever got a penis when, bone? Do you know when the broadcast goes down on the TV, like back in the day, and then they like put an announcement to explain <laughs> why there's nothing on? That you still just, happens. Like, have that whole bit go quiet. That still and happens. It just be dead. It's called the dump button. Apologies, we've uh, a bit of a problem in the in the studio today. We're gonna have to just cut this part out completely and just wait another twenty seconds, and we'll be back with you. <laughs> Dev, you've put in another article yeah. about a bar and what it is doing. 
Did you want to discuss that? Is it serving drinks? It's butts for B. What it's do you mean? Say what now? <laughs> it's um, that like tits for beer, but now it's butts for beer. Yes. What? That's a King so Kardashian shake era. Shake that ass. What? So <laughs> the image is this butt on the on the. Um, wait, wait, wait. Was I right? <laughs> no, no. Hang no. on. What, what oh. you said first was that even a thing? Oh, th- there used to be free service if you show your breasts. That was like a no. sign people had in bars, right? What? That's a long, long time ago. I'm so opening a bar. Who would do that? Okay, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so this this article had um, a picture of a, a butt on the beach. Mm. And then it I started reading it and it said, now that I've got your attention, we're not talking about that kind of butt. So they're talking about <laughs> cigarette butts for bees. Yeah. So if you collect... Um, is it a, a a schooner full? Schooner full of butts? They won't know what a schooner is, I don't think. Um, what's a schooner? Composed of a pint? No, not a pint. What's smaller than a pint? Half a pint? Just a cup. Half a pint? Is it half a pint? Is that what you say? Can I have a half a pint of beer? In yeah. in Europe? Yeah. yeah. Do you? Yes. Yeah. So I think it's equivalent well, to... Not in Europe. In, in England, you say in half England. a pint. In Europe, you'll say 300 mil or something so like that. I think it's 300 mil. Is it 300 mil worth of butts? If you fill up 300 mil worth of butts, a uh, cup, you'll get a free cup of beer or 300. I don't know. I'm getting confused. It's very it. specific. You, basically, you've just got to pick up cigarette butts off the beach and fill a cup, take it, and they'll exchange it for a beer or a soft drink. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Right. Apparently, there's been mainly like kids doing it and getting free soft drinks rather than adults so far. But it's a nice, um, nice That's thing. Fine, no. But what? Because <laughs> apparently, I didn't know this, but the Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge found that cigarette butts, not plastic straws, are the world's most pervasive man-made contaminant. Pervasive. Mm-hmm. And the most frequently littered. I didn't realize. I didn't know that. Because hmm. um, the makes cigarette. Makes sense. Because I've never <laughs> stood outside and just chucked a straw on the floor once I finished with it. Yeah. Purposefully. I see people smoke and do that a lot. Yeah, they do, or yeah. out the window or something like that. And the cigarette filters um, are made from this cellulose acetate fibers. Uh-huh. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> although they're like bioplastic, they don't biodegrade on yeah. their own. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what happens is... Um, uh, you need a banana. <laughs> <laughs> and you put it in the sun and ripen. <laughs> yeah, put it in a warm place with a banana. They all biodegrade like a peyote. Three days, I heard. Like a cabbage compartment. <laughs> oh my gosh, that lady. So I basically, hope people listen to the whole episode before they yeah, got to this. Yeah, otherwise you won't get what we're talking about right now. Um, <laughs> but one filter, one little filter, can pollute three liters of seawater. That's crazy. What, what was I say it again? One filter. Yeah can pollute three liters of seawater and um and the pollution this potential for pollution takes five to 20 years to disappear on its own so loads of the sea creatures um they also like eat these obviously these cigarette butts they think it's food as well so they're eating them they're dying um so yeah it's pretty cool cause apparently this same pub has done like other things like they did um collecting thousands of caps to, and then like giving it to charities for childhood cancer and stuff like that. It's just, it, this is just an, another example of like, like good initiatives. Eh? It's just nice to hear yeah. people trying to do good things for the world. I mm. reckon. Yeah, it's nice. And this bar, let's name them because they're so good, is called Tiburon Bar in Castel de Fels. In Barcelona. Oh, near, near Barcelona. It's Barcelona. Oh, it's in Europe. Castel de Fels. Yeah. In, in Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah, near, near Barcelona. Tiburon. Oh, near Barcelona. I don't know how to spell it, how to nice. say it. Have you seen Do these? We, any um, website or, or a tag app thing? Username? No. Mm, not sure. No, it's not. I don't we'll think so. We'll put a link in somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we'll put a link. Have you seen um, these surfers um, going on, on social media and they... They're trying yes. to go out and then all of a sudden they're just picking up all these plastic. Yeah, they like collect the litter. They collect the litter. Yeah, that's yeah, good I've too. Seen that as well. Because where's that pla- where's Trash Island? 
my my son was came home and he's like, did you know there's a place called Trash Island and all of the trash in from the, the sea um, Pacific goes there. Ocean. There's more than one, but I think the main one, which is like crazy big, is in the Pacific Ocean somewhere. Yes. Uh Pacific Garbage Patch. Great Pacific Garbage Patch. What what, what is this? Can you explain what a garbage? Oh my god. It's okay. So all the, there's like a part of the ocean where all the currents sort of meet. Yeah. And then, so if you drop anything in the sea, it just sort of all meets in this one spot. It ends so any up plastic that there. ends up floating in the sea will just end up in this location. And over time, it's just building up. And now we have this big, big island of plastic, essentially. And then there's just like the weirdest thing is like it's in the middle of nowhere, but there's like seagulls. What? I think I saw a picture of it. I don't know if this is right. It might be a there different. There you go. Plastic. It's, it's like really far from the coast. And there's seagulls, which it could have potentially went over like on like a freight ship or something, where a seagull just like got caught in it. Oh. And they just, now they're just living, Man, sitting on plastic. Crazy. Like, no, oh. what? So they like live there now. Well, it's an island. I mean, so there's, there's three. Um, there's a picture here. It's showing a western garbage patch, subtropical convergence zone, and an eastern garbage patch. Oh my guys, God. can we just go there and clean it all up? No, who? well, who? Who's gonna go? And that's a there, lot. There's a big project on the it? way at the moment where they they're cleaning it up. Oh, um, yeah. They, um, I'm trying to find it now, but I'll just I'll just do a brief because I think it's and oh, the no. listeners can read it more. But essentially, what they're doing is they got these massive like they're like floats which are maybe like a hundred meters long. Yeah. And then they got two strings on the floats with like um, it's like an anchor which holds it down. So that means when the tide pushes this 100 meter 100 meter like floating thing it sort of makes this big u shape yeah uh, as the current pushes it away and then what happens is that will naturally go with the current so the plastic that also naturally goes with the current because this one has an anchor on it is going to go a bit faster than the 100 meter float Does yeah that make sense yeah so it's got this floating anchor which because the current if you go like 50 meters down the current's slower than the current on top so mm-hmm. the anchor's slow in the big u bend 100 meter float down and then all the other plastic just gets caught in it and then once it gets to like the location a big boat goes out and then drags it all back so then it like over time it just keeps dragging them all back and you slowly bring the plastic out and they have target by 2025 to like get rid of 90 percent of this this plastic uh. but that's all good but what happens is they catch they catch the plastic on the surface right yeah there's also a lot of plastic which doesn't float on the top because it's already particles and stuff like that those tiny yeah, plastic yeah, and particles it's, it's already then that means it's a little bit dense once it gets a bit smaller and uh it then goes like maybe five meters below and that's really really hard to get and that's what the fish eat as well so it's and then we it's a good initiative but there's a lot more to do like it's really yeah. tough I, don't know, warning. I wonder oh it's eight million tons of plastics enter the ocean every year that's ridiculous uh, that. much of which has accumulated in five giant garbage patches around the planet how much plastic there is? <sighs> it's too much. I'm always, I'm always thinking about like when I buy stuff. Like even now, I, I, I keep forgetting to bring my um, stainless steel straw. The main thing now that people are trying to push is reuse, refurbish, or recycle. So if you mm. need to buy something, instead of going and buying something brand new, can you get it secondhand from somewhere? Can you? repurpose something to use it instead. But something I'm going to put in my mouth, I don't really want to buy. Ah. Second hand. <laughs> Stainless steel. Oh, okay. No, I thought you meant like, yeah. Second, <laughs> second hand carrots. <laughs> but like, no, but you can buy I thought you meant steel. food. You can clean that. Yeah, but still, who knows the person that ate it on it before? Well, no, but I, you, I don't think you know it's where yours. steel comes from in the first place. No, I'm yeah, saying, I remember saying buy. No, I don't think someone's going to sell a second hand stainless steel straw but like i mean like say yeah. you want people wanted... can sell it you don't have to buy it no but like say even furniture say you needed like new wardrobe or whatever is that can you go online and see someone that's like getting rid of theirs or can you go to the um yeah. what do you call Sent, like vinnies or whatever and pick up a you know one mm. from there do you know what i mean yeah like try and do what you can to just recycle first before yeah just going straight to brand new brand new that's what they're trying to say i like that yeah i'm gonna try that hmm All right. Um, so, hotels. We actually don't 
travel that much, I guess. So perhaps Maxie will have more of an idea. She hates us talking about hotels. Why? Anything bad about hotels. Who? Maxie. No, this isn't bad. What? Why? This isn't bad. Remember the bed bugs? Because now he goes... Remember the bed bugs when we were talking oh, about yeah, bed bugs? Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to know about what happens in... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't bad. It's just... Um... <laughs> He doesn't want to know no, about I'm the semen on the sheets. No, 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 no. Okay, so the key card, your typical key card, yeah. m- that yeah. will be replaced or is being replaced by your phone. So instead of um, having to manually swipe a key card, they're trying to just use your phone to... I'm starting to feel like... Automatically? People, yeah, yeah, automatically. I'm, st- I'm starting to feel like people are wanting us to download stuff to get into our phones. Yeah, so there are some um, obviously downsides, I guess, because even this technology guy, engineer guy, whatever, he was asked to trial it and, well, he was asked, okay, do you want one um, for your stay? And he was going to say yes, but then was like, "Mm, I'll just stick with the normal manual one because, you know, there have been cases of the like hackers, right? And then they're able to get into your phone or your data and everything like that. Um, but then apparently there's also like the magnetic key card strip things are also vulnerable, but I don't get why. Cause apparently they can be cloned, yeah. but so what? Like who's cloning what? Just the key card. Yeah. So they can get into your room. I mean, they can get into your room. But who is, who like, so, but I don't get it. They can rob you. They can rob you, take it off. But how are they cloning it? Cause apparently it said the staff don't, they might not know. Because they can get a scanner and just basically read it. So instead of that, yeah. instead of it being the lock, there's a mm. scanner on there. I'm I'm guessing. What happened to the old days when they used something called a key, right? Mm. Where you stick it in and you turn it. You know, you're always good for that. The old days. What you're happened to that? <laughs> What's a key? <laughs> you mean like one of those the 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 private key and public key that you have when you use internet? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> 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 but uh, apparently, <laughs> there's about like a million hotel rooms at the moment. Wait, can I, d- for the people listening, Max has got a curious face on. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sarcastic comment. <laughs> was it not? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he was being serious. <laughs> yeah, continue, continue. There's about a million hotel rooms worldwide that um, have some sort of version of a lock that can accept a cell phone generated digital key but basically this is what i do like about it Mm. if you've got that when you combine it with your online check-in you basically don't have to stop at the front desk talk to staff so you can just check in online use your thing to get straight into the room you don't have to stop or anything check out online and i like talking to the front desk yeah I, I do, love that well, part. What's wrong with people part? talking no, no. to people? It depends it's if there's a that. massive long queue. That's what I, no, I, I love like. the experience. You go, yes, I'm coming here. Yes, I am. And treat me well. I am a king for two days. <laughs> Take me to my room. <laughs> oh, level one. No, you're not. Is that all? You spend $30 a night. You are not a king for two days. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> you're going to get eaten by our bed bugs. <laughs> and your no key card probably won't work the first two times. <laughs> <laughs> but the third time, success. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, the, do you remember that um, hotel room in Belgium? Oh no, my, that was we Paris. Got... No, Belgium. The nice one, Belgium. Oh no, that was a nice one, Paris. No, not Paris it then. Was Paris. Amsterdam, and we t- oh, we we yeah. changed three night three times to get like a room that was actually clean. Yeah, that was a budget hotel because your your, your was cousin, it? yeah, your cousin didn't want to pay for like an expensive hotel. Oh, oh so your cousin's a tight ass. <laughs> no, but he's he's very well off. Anyways, yeah. that's why he's well off. So when we went into this, because <laughs> like the budget, the budget hotel, or what? They wouldn't call it a hotel, would you? I have no idea. They, <laughs> you can convert it into a like a, a three bedroom or a like a a two bedroom room. Okay. You just like I didn't know this, but like there's these things on the walls that that look like just part of the furniture, and you pull it down, and it's a bed, right? And that's how they convert. It into a three bedroom or a a two bedroom. What the hell? A where two. was this? That's the that's where we went. I can't. I don't know. Because okay. we lifted it up and then there was all this like um chip like they just like chocolate. literally hey. broomed everything under underneath this the, one bed hey, underneath uh, the bed. And that's just <laughs> cool question. Are you sure you took Emma there, not another girl? I have a bad memory. <laughs> I honestly do. It was, it was Emma's cousin. I have a bad I'm memory. Really, so why would you take another girl, Emma's cousin, to the hotel in Paris? <laughs> 
It was in Amsterdam. <laughs> CJ, I think you got every single fact there wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I like the narrative that you're trying to create, <laughs> but you've lost me. <laughs> Yeah, but do we like this hotel room phone thing? I would feel a bit sus using it. I'd be like, "Mm, what are you doing with my phone? Like, I don't know. I don't know why people just don't use keys. Maybe because keys are easily lost and the hotel has to keep replacing them or... And you think... Yeah, no, you'll have to to replace the keys. Why do you have to replace the keys? Because, what do you mean? Someone can just... Copy it, and then every time he wants to Someone go to can the copy, just oh, copy yeah. the card. Yeah, but, but it, you have to be more yeah, technical. Cards change every day. Savvy. Yeah, the cards sc- change their code every day. Yeah, you change your code. Oh, so you can't just go to that so when, room because it just changes. Yeah, because when you check out, you can't use your card on that room anymore. Yeah, they can just go on their thing and say, "Now this door requires a new code," and they yeah. print a new code on a new card. Why don't you just but change the, the lock? The key system <laughs> probably the safest. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know. It's like the, the actual manual key. It's the most reliable one. Since last week's episode, me and Dev have been investigating um, video um, ba- doorbells and like extra security. I, I got one. Yeah. 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 Did you? Yeah. Oh, you can like, cool. um, you can like, instead of having it on your phone, you could just give your uh, customer a code. Like we went to Lisbon and oh. we had a code to get into our like a uh, push, room. like a push button type one. Uh, no, an electrical one. What do you mean? You like the door the had same, a keypad on it, yeah. and you press four digits. And oh yeah, goes, that's what. Yeah. Oh yeah, open. that's what I meant. Like, a you guys, have you guys keypad. been to oh. my cousin's house? I don't want to say his name, but he's got that. Oh, does really? He? he can actually open his house from his phone at work. So if you go to his place, you call uh, him up. That's the next level. And that's it, awesome. And, oh, wow. and you're like, well, your place goes. I'll go in. I'm gonna open up door for you. So you, you just push it. It opens and you close it back up. And you're, you're we need good. to get I'm one of always, those. I'm always we worried about one. when you get drunk. Like these people are like. And you accidentally five, forget the code. Five, six. You sound Irish right now. Seven, are you an Irish drunk? Eight. Oh, they're like five. That's wrong. That's five, wrong. Six. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 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 and then it's just. Emma! <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> like the party. <laughs> we like we like the party. No. <laughs> I hope I hope someone listens to this and is a music producer and does something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Yeah. Hey, well. I'm I'm, co- I'm copywriting that right now. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell.